guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com, and this is the Samsung Zeal from Verizon Wireless. Now, you may remember a phone from a while ago called the Alias. It featured this e ink technology that we see in a lot of ebooks today, and it was sort of like a basic flip phone. You could flip it open and have the number pad, but then you could also flip it to the side, and those numbers would change to actual letters using that e ink technology. So it's sort of different. The Zeal is basically the upgrade from the Alias. It has pretty much the same specs but kind of just an updated design to make it look a little more modern so we're going to unbox it and take a quick first look at it then i'll test it out and come back in about three to five days and have a full review for you guys so it's available from verizon wireless from for 79.99 it's the samsung zeal i'm sydney from phonedog.com let's go check it out okay so this is the box for the samsung zeal from verizon wireless and like i was saying in the intro you know there's not a lot of differences or updates from the original alias to you know this the updated zeal um, in terms of specs it's pretty much the same it just kind of has an updated hardware design so if we take it out of the box uh, you'll notice you know basically the same design but just a little different in terms of color scheme a um, couple aesthetic changes um, but it's pretty much the same device and it's even um, pretty much exactly the same size. So if you've ever seen the alias or you've held it, you, know, you already know what it looks like and what it feels like. It's about four inches by two inches, and then it's a little over half an inch thick. It's still a very slim device. Um, you know, I was expecting it to be a little bit thicker, but it's actually pretty slim. Um, but anyway, there's the device, and we'll take a look, see what else is in the box. You have a charger. Oh my gosh, I'm shocked. I was not expecting that at all. No, I'm just kidding. I was I was totally expecting that. And it looks like um, this sort of is annoying. Um, it's a proprietary jack there. It's not not micro USB uh, or even mini USB would have been fun. But it's proprietary, which is like from two years ago. So I don't know. Maybe they just had a bunch of old chargers lying around. They wanted to get rid of them. And then you have tips, hints, and shortcuts just in case you don't know how to use a phone. They're gonna show you how. That's so nice of them. Okay, so that is it in the box. So we'll close it and we're just, we're just gonna shove it all in there. Okay, here's a phone. Let me see if I can power it on. Uh, you'll notice right away, this is e-ink technology. So that's the huge thing about this device, e-ink technology so it can change uh, depending on the mode that you're in. At the moment, I'm really just looking for the power button. Uh, is that the power button? Oh yeah, it is, okay. that's. I thought that was a camera button, but it's the power button. Anyway, so we'll let that power on and take off the protective film. Um, this is sort of like a rubbery plastic film. Not like the plastic, it's more like rubber. Anyway, um, this is a 2.6 inch uh, display here. It has a resolution of 240 by 320. And uh, yes, it is pretty much, it's the same screen, same resolution as the, uh, as the alias. And so no real updates there. Um, we'll personalize it later. And in the meantime, okay, so this is the this is the home screen, which is really weird and really different. Um, okay, so we'll we'll figure that out later. Um, but let me show you the keyboard. So here we're just in basic dialing format, and so you'll see the keyboard is you know has the numeric keypad, um, the arrows, a couple of other things for a you know voicemail, camera, Bluetooth, just you know basic options. But then if we close it and then open it from the side, then you'll see it changes to a QWERTY keyboard. You still have the arrows there for navigation, send, clear, end, um, but you know it changes and so it's pretty cool. If you watch it, you can see it change. Well, I think I did it, okay. There you go, we saw it change. Okay, so we'll go over to messaging and uh, just so you know, these two buttons right here with the arrows, those function as basically the two soft keys for whatever is up on the screen right now. Um, so we'll go to messaging, we'll do a new message, a new text message, and we'll type in just basically that. Okay, so let me close it, okay. 
Interesting. Okay, so I missed a couple of keys there. You can see I made a couple of mistakes. Um, but overall, the keyboard is its nice. The, the keys are very rubbery. They're not mushy. They're just very rubbery and very grippy. Um, but still, there's not a whole lot of action. Whenever you actually press it down, um, <clears throat> it doesn't go down very far. And so that was one of the things I noticed right off the bat. It was kind of hard to tell that I was actually pressing a button. Um, but it's it's interesting. You know, it's pretty easy to read. You know, not a whole lot of problems. So you can see that it shows up very well. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of weird that it shows up in the top corner. Um, that may just have something to do with the with the design. You know, the numbers probably show up right here, so they had to you know be able to fit it all in. Um, you know, but overall, it was it was nice for texting. Um, and then of course it'll change if you do it this way. So if you want to use a T9 keypad, you can do that, and then you have a couple of just blank buttons there that don't really do anything. So it's yeah, it's interesting and sort of just you know, um, I guess a novelty thing, I'm not really sure. Um, you do have a camera on the front, actually. It is a two megapixel camera. Uh, it does have autofocus, interestingly, and digital zoom, uh, 10 times digital zoom, and it also has night shot technology. And uh, from Samsung's website, this is like the night shot to end all night shots. Although I seriously doubt that it's that good, but you know, they're they're really excited about it. So anyway, that's pretty much just a first look at the Samsung Zeal uh, with the e-ink technology. Um, you know, overall, it, it's pretty cool. I'll have to just test it out and see if it's really practical. If it's, you know, really something that comes in handy, handy or if it's just sort of a, you know, a nice cool thing to show off. Um, feels very solid in the hand. Um, you know, it feels sturdy enough, and again, like I said, it's it's thinner than I thought it would be, so it's not a big clunky device uh, by any means. Seventy nine ninety nine from Verizon Wireless. Um, it does also have a micro SD card slot. It supports up to thirty two gigs, and then you have music controls on the front here um, for when you're playing music, and then it just shows a clock normally. Uh, so anyway, Samsung Zeal, Verizon Wireless, $79.99. I will test it out. I'll have my first impressions up on the site, and then I'll come back in about a week and tell you guys, is it worth getting? Um, you know, not a lot of updates in terms of specs, but I don't think they're selling the alias um, new anymore. I think you have to get it pre-owned. So is this a good successor? We'll find out in a week after testing it out. Thank you so much guys for watching. Be sure and check out phonedog.com for more news, updates, and reviews. Also, you can check out our Facebook page. We're giving away up to 100 iPads, and I believe we're still giving away two tickets to the Super Bowl. Uh, we may have kind of changed the rules a little bit, but I believe we're still giving away two tickets to the Super Bowl. So it's facebook.com slash phonedog for more information on that. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, my screen name is It's My Job to Know, because, you know, it's my job to know. Um, but anyway, I am Sydney from phonedog.com. Thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.